at one end you show uh, a girl a woman as a, as a, as a object of desire the whole film is about gags on 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 her are they are they really caring about it No, it's, it's a thriller. It's a thriller, and it has uh, other elements as well. So it's not just a thriller, but it's a it's a thriller, emotional drama, and there are other you know colors to the film. And uh, it's uh, not a regular kind of uh, uh, um, structure of the film. You know, with the way it explores uh, the surrounding of that incident, if something happens. Uh, for example, any disaster which happens, so there is uh, there are there's media which which makes you aware about that, but then it becomes news for a day or two and then it disappears. The people who gets affected by that, uh, their whole life is affected by that, and sometimes uh, they could never cope up with with what really happened. So this film is trying to explore that in a very engaging, entertaining way. Sometimes he makes film like uh, three films in a year. Sometimes he makes it, uh, you know one film in seven years. And so he's putting all the blame on me. <laughs> Half of the time he is in Hollywood. <laughs> so he doesn't meet me for months, probably a year. So how can we work together? <laughs> like See, it's a very tricky thing to choose a subject uh, because there is no formula that okay you have a greatest production house greatest director all the you know regular story you know which has a formula worked out and uh, you cannot still bank uh, upon that uh, it's just an instinct and you can never be sure which film is going to work which is not going to work so when you are choosing the subject uh, you see the possibility potential where it could go and that's what only that, that's that is what is there with you rest of it is you know the rest of it is you know it's uh, it's, you never know what's going to happen. I think things are coming together in the right time when you know the, the Indian market is changing, Indian audience is evolving and uh, there are filmmakers like him and others who are trying to uh, redefine uh, commercial uh, cinema uh, where uh, we used to see commercial cinema a few years back uh, where this similar kind of uh, storytelling but there are a few directors who are trying to redefine or actors like us who are trying to redefine what entertainment is all about. We can also entertain, but this is a new definition of commercial cinema. So that's what we are trying to do. You know, more than that, uh, sometimes what happens is, you know, I would love to see my hero at times, let's say, walking inside the room and if it is, let's say, a very heroic film or a very macho sort of a rugged sort of a character. I would like to see him smoking. The moment I see him smoking, I start reading No Smoking Below. Which is, I feel really, it, it is like telling some painter, you cannot use an oil paint, you will have to use this painter. How, how would a painter feel? What am I going to paint on my canvas? If you are going to limit me with all these things. And nobody is out there <coughs> to propagate, let's say, smoking or anything. We are here for the love of the art. And we want to entertain people. We don't want to mislead people. But yeah, and the other factor of censorship is I feel the laws are have been made I think so 60 years back. So I think so even they have their limitations, they have to show the law book every time. So I think the basic problem lies in the laws which were created 60 years back. The thing is, uh, the, we just come up with things and uh, we don't really see the relevance of it. So let's say uh, smoking thing. Uh, I could I could really, uh, I could really uh, appreciate this if, in our lives, we were so health conscious and we were so that, like in our country, there was no malnutrition, where there's no kind of milawat in our khana pina, and you know. On the other hand, we are living in near the drain. We are, you know, uh, breathing uh, polluted air, or uh, you know, there's no guarantee of what kind of food is being pushed onto us. And on the other hand, you come up with a policy which is not there in any any country a country which is so sensitive about <coughs> smoking where you cannot uh, smoke in uh, on the streets but then you can see 
uh, you know you can see the uh, in other areas as well that they are as conscious about that. Now, suddenly you put up uh, a kind of uh, restriction on, on filmmakers, but the rest of the thing is going on like that. So, how absurd is it is? I think the, the people want to say, people who are uh, running the system, they want to say, that's, uh, see, uh, we care for, for, for you. See, we, you know, we have done this policy and now we are, so they, they are showing their concern. And you can see that there is no concern, it's just their, you know, it's their PR exercise. I think the public voice should have more power and they should be more severe about, about these things. Because at, one, at one end, you show uh, a girl, a woman as an as a, as a object of desire and uh, the whole film is about gags on, on, on her or on, on her, you know, on her body and it propagates that uh, this, is, this is a product to use. So, you have no uh, problem with it and uh, you have uh, item numbers where it's only a girl's body is exploited, you know, superficial part of, uh, of, of, of a being is exploited as a product, you have no problem with it and then you come up with things which are so absurd. So, I do not find any synergy, you know, I do not find any connection with it. Are they, are they really caring about it? Do they have a like, you know, stand? It is just a PR exercise, it is just, you know, uh, uh, a gang, you know, so I do not know what to say about it. I wish the industry could come together, like South Indian industry is much more united and they have rules which, which does good to the cinema, with, where you can see the concern, like PR, you know, the, the, the publicity thing. In our, in our industry, nobody is ready to discuss that how burdened a small film which is responsible to change, bring the change in storytelling is burdened by this. Uh, weight of publicity, but we are not concerned about it. If something happens, we do not have any body, you know, one, one body which, which reacts or one spokesperson which should speak on behalf of cinema. Everybody is on their own. Jiski gaadi chal rahi hai, jiska theek hai, you know, aag, uh, mas rao masti mein, aag lage basti mein, mera ho gaya na theek, chalo aage bado. We have this attitude. It's not about running into problems. It's like whatever story excites you as an entertainer, you go about making it. It's not about creating a controversy, or it's not about running into problems. You don't think about all this. You try to make an entertain. Most importantly, it has to entertain people, and it has to be a good form of storytelling. It has to be good content. That is what generally we concentrate on. And in the end result, sometimes it happens. Yeah, we run into problems because we've said certain things in cinema, and we have to face it. Yes, oh yes, they are uh, they are watching all kind of stuff <coughs> everywhere, and uh, they want to now engage intelligently. There is a large chunk of audience which uh, who's uh, looking for uh, just entertainment, uh -huh, you know, one-dimensional entertainment where one, you know, where they don't need to think anything. You know, they just want spoon feeding, and that's a large chunk of audience. But there is a uh, chunk of audience which is growing every. Uh, you know, rapidly, uh, which is looking for interesting cinema and that is why uh, in last few years, uh, the kind of films have been doing well is the sign of, of audience maturity and uh, the way they are evolving. As I said before, we initially just make the film first don't get into all this and then we realize oh maybe we are running into problems because of all these things. So rather we prefer to concentrate on the content. I would say that you know let people make what they want to make and unless and until they are vulgar, uh, uh, now this again is a debatable thing who will decide vulgar, but you can make out you know you can, you can, you can make out what it is. So, a sensible people should be giving certificates to films and people who are, who are evolved people you know who, who are not part of supporting this party or that party. Most of the time the government, uh, you know, uh, has an attitude, they 
they you know favor people by giving these kind of uh, uh, positions and they are mostly misused uh, so we need a body of some you know a group of people who decides that this film can be watched by these th th this sect of audience and they should warn and they should give certificate otherwise uh, if you are so serious about it if you're really concerned about it I appreciate it. Let's let's you know. Let's let's do it with then television also. Let's do it with internet also. Let's uh, let's go like 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 China does. So let's become like that. So that you know there is a kind of uh, standard to it. It shouldn't look like futile exercise where a filmmaker is suffering, and uh, the, you know, art sal ka bacha is watching anything which which he wants to watch. So it's a certificate is more important. Just let let people know, and we should think about it. Let uh, you know some evolve. People come and discuss this and come up with a uh, uh, with a certification thing. The way it happens all around the world. What you saying is absolutely right. Certification is the best way to. Uh, it's the best system, I feel, <coughs> because uh, somewhere uh, filmmakers are also sensible. They know where to draw a line. They don't generally go overboard just because they have a. And a sensible filmmaker will never go overboard. But as he said, you need evolved people to define. What is what? Also, the second party said that then, if you want to, then put restrictions. Then put restrictions on everything. Most importantly, internet. Internet, I feel very strongly, is because an eight-year-old, ten-year-old is watching anything on the net. That uh, seems to be okay, uh, and uh, this is not. So, which I feel it is, it's imbalance. I think the regional film are being able to really. Uh, pick up uh, topical issues and make an entertaining uh, thing. But Hindi cinema is like uh, they are, they have to make this happy, they have to make this happy. So they, they, they are always thinking about formula. So make a general kind of film. It's not a personal film. So an audience is looking for personal experience. Make a film which comes in, you know. Uh, which 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 can engage us with our own issues. So I'm not saying you should make issue-based film, but it should reflect life. So our film Hindi cinema tends to become general, and they tends to uh, uh, you know they tends to depend on one or two song. Unka, matlab, they think yar do gaane chal gaye, do gaane click ho gaye, and baki subject to will be you know taken care of. So they then they still believe that ke do gaane chitak jaye, baki story to hum dekh lenge, you know. But the regional cinema, why it is picking up? Because they are addressing, uh, you know, a pic, you know, a, people are relating to the to, to that cinema. We have to make things relatable. See, there is uh, now the audience is opened up first of all. So there will always be that certain audience which will go for their two favorite stars and still watch that cinema, which is fair enough. But apart from those one or two films in the year. The rest of the cinema is somewhere still I feel very formula based which is stuck in those number number games ke isme ye state mein ye chalega yahan ye chalega and then depending on one or two songs and actually sometimes content the story takes a back seat but with the rise of as as you're saying example of sairar films like sairar or even down south fantastic regional cinema happening with lot of strong hollywood content coming in uh, I think that a lot of people are waking up to it. That it is time that we start concentrating on the content. At times, yes, for a very big budget film, you might need a very big star. That is true. But still, content is the key. I mean, you have to have content in today's time. Then it is future. It is definitely the future. <laughs> for 15, 20 years, we have known each other. First pilot of my television series, uh, Irfan was the actor. That is 20 years back. So since then, it has been an off and on friendship. Eventually, we worked in Mumbai, Mirjan. That was almost 10 years later. And then, after eight years, we worked. In so well, it has been a journey for all of us. I think so. Uh, there was always a lot of things inside him. Initially, uh, probably today the belief is much stronger. So evolved, he was, I think, always evolved as an actor. But the belief probably grew uh, as uh, you start believing in yourself. You start believing in what you want to do, how you want to do it, and that comes with experience. Right? 
talking about being an evolved actor, he was always evolved. So I think it is the belief which makes you strong. And that is, you can, we all can see his journey from uh, those days to today's times. He's, he's the only, uh, probably, star who's balanced both Hollywood and Indian cinema so well. So it's, it's been a great journey and it's always been a great honor to work with, very seriously speaking. I think he thinks, uh, uh, he gave a lot of thought uh, to, from the subject to casting to marketing. I never knew that, you know, he has uh, such a uh, in-depth understanding of also how to position a film, uh, which uh, I, I got a chance when, when we were doing the song and we were in Hyderabad and then, you know, we finished the song and we sat together. Uh, so he is, uh, he gives a lot of thought to what, what he's doing and uh, he puts his foot, you know, it's, he's not, uh, uh, it's, it's a grounded foot, you know, he puts. And the beautiful thing about him is the way he keeps the atmosphere so wonderful while shooting, you know. It's like, it's like pleasure to be in the atmosphere, the way he conducts. He doesn't even say silence. Everybody is silent. And everybody is not uh, forced. They are in a kind of rhythm which, you know, it's like automatically happening. Now, which I have seen uh, a, with a, a great cameramen or with brilliant directors who just control the space without saying anything. That's something, you know, which is, I don't know. Uh, at that time, I couldn't notice it. Even in uh, uh, Mumbai, Mary Jan, I didn't notice that. Uh, maybe uh, now I started noticing because for me it matters. At that time, it was uh, earlier, you know, you just, if you get a part that is enough for you, you, you don't bother about uh, other things. But in today's time, for me, how I spend my time on the sets, what kind of person is he, whether I'll enjoy this person or not, that also sometimes, you know, it comes in consideration when you're choosing a subject. A, a, a person could be a, a great director, but it could be a pain in the ass. So, you know, <laughs> so, you know, you have to think twice whether should I give my two, three, four months to this guy because I won't be, you know, because you, you need excitement, you need, you need, uh, encourage, you need inspiration, you need a company, it's a company, you know, you, 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 it's, it's like getting married to somebody, you know, for some time and, and, and you, you generate your passion together, you know, it's like a journey for passion or whatever, you know, the nature yeah. of the film. I am, yeah, creative product in the sense of uh, we, uh, we just wanted to, uh, have a say when the team is being finalized, okay, okay this, uh, you know, this department for this, this department, only for that. I have nothing to do with raising money or, you know, uh, how the money would be recovered. Uh, you know, I have no, no, I have no talent for that. <coughs> no, I, I have realized I cannot. If I was a writer, I would have never been sitting here giving interview as an actor. I hate to, uh, you know, sometimes be so conscious about your looks and things like that. I would have been happily doing direction, but uh, I am not a writer, so uh, it's difficult for me to find writer, find something. And the other thing is the the, the most important thing for directors. Uh, it's, it's 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 a it's a primary condition to be a director to work as a multi-channel person. You know, you you. You should be able to handle so many things at a time, you know. But for actors, we are uh, privileged that, you know, we can just be one track and you know, just think about the character and, and you know, think about the story and, and you know, uh, we can afford to do that. A director cannot. Uh, I don't know. Uh, in fact, we had a nice chat. I said, uh, in two years, I've done four films, uh, which is a lot, which I, I feel slightly drained right now. So maybe it's time to reanalyze and reinvent after this. It might take some time. I cannot choose a subject just like that. Okay, this is this film is going to be hit, so let me be part of it. So I, ha I'm, I've, I've, fortunately, I have crossed that that uh, that time. I, I might be. Uh, I have finalized two movies, which are more of a. Uh, humorous, romantic, uh, you know, uh, films, uh, and I wanted to explore romance. That that I don't know when will it happen. Uh, it's uh, it. I don't know what kind of destiny that film has. Uh, it will take time. But the there are two films which are 
which are on a romantic mode but also humorous thank you thank you, thank you.